Well, what is up, everybody on YouTube? This is Tubers Gaming HD, and I'm coming straight at you with yet again another video. If you're not yet a subscriber right here on the channel, I think definitely you should go ahead and click the red button under this video, and then you actually be updated every single day. So I kind of did this video like two weeks ago, and uh, there is or like, there have been like other YouTubers who also did a looking video like this and uh, some of my viewers might get mad but i still do have a lot of people that is asking me in a comment section and also kind of personal how do you get all the mods in the game as you have it right here on ps4 and also on xbox one and i gotta say guys i'm gonna do this video one more time to show you so please pay attention and also if you think like these how to and uh, different kind of methods is actually pretty good you should definitely to go ahead and show your appreciation by hitting the thumbs up on this video so how do you get like hidden mods in the mod hub to show up or appear in your game i'm going to show you right here first of all you have to start up the fountain 2019 game which means you need to have the game if you're not having the game yet you should definitely get it I guess that all of you guys have it already. So let's get into the mods right here. You have to stand it up and you have to get down in the mods section right here, as you can see. So this is kind of what I have at the moment. And if you kind of press L1 and L1 and L1, this is probably what you guys see when you get into the mod hub right here. When you just start up the game, Get into Farm Simulator 2019, get into the mod hub of the game. This is what you have. And uh, this is how it looks like. So I'm like, okay, I need to find the playstables. I need to find, for example, the solar cells that we got like two weeks ago, the solar panels. Uh, where are they? Oh, fuel tank, uh, back in lifter package, root crop storage, gameplay. Oh, disable. Packages. What do we have in this? JCB, uh, farm buildings. Okay, there's nothing. I know because I saw in the mod hub on the kind of like, um, on 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 the the kind of like web webpage. I saw that we got those solar cells, and because I want them to actually get a good amount of money every single hour. But um, why the hell isn't it here? Okay, so if you pay attention in the bottom of the screen right now, we have a uh, something called details, something called back, something called search, and then we of course also have show all mods. I already shown this right here, but if you press like the left stick or which is just called uh, it's called the L3 button on the PS4 controller. I don't know what it is called on the Xbox One controller, but on the PS4, it is called the L3 kind of notch or button. It is the left stick. It is also the left stick on the Xbox One controller. Right now, I'm gonna click the left stick right here. And you can see right now, I'm just gonna click again. You can see right here, it appears that there's something changing. So if I press the L3 again, I can only, it says show top mods only. Right there, if I press it again, show all mods. So now we should actually see all mods. For example, we got the big technology right here, which is not in it when I have show top mods. So also front loaders right here is in the game, which is not here when I just go for top mods. So that is as it is, and that is pretty cool. So of course we do have it right here as you want to say. And uh, if you just press the left stick on your controller, you will actually get every single mod that is available on the PS4 and the Xbox One by only one touch. And I do say, you do have to say that it is looking quite freaking cool. And uh, I don't know why it is kind of pointed out to be like this. Uh, because I think it's really sad to see that there is a lot of you guys asking me, but I think it's cool because it is a frequent question and it is indeed a good question. So right here, I don't know why Giants or the developers behind this mod hub section did what they did, but I probably think that they did what they had to do. So that is what it is. Once again, I just want to say right here, that is how you do it was this helpful let me know in the comment section below if this actually helped you out 
kind to find the hidden mods. If you have to take take a closer look on this, this is kind of the basic screen of the mod hub. But before that, let me know in the comment section as I just said. And also, if this was helpful for you, please hit that freaking thumbs up to show your appreciation. And also, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet a subscriber. Our goal is 25,000 of you guys, of the family members, before January ends. And that is only like two days away. So we still miss 150 subscribers. So please join me. Tell your friends that you can get help right here on Tubers Gaming HD. But if you have to take a look, there is also a menu bar up at the top of the screen as you probably can see and if you go like R1 you go to all the installed mods that we do have on the game right now or that I have on the game right now and these are the things that is installed on my PS4 in the mod section and um, that's what I have right here you can also go ahead and check out what you have we have for example the Fint 900 Black Beauty and uh, we have different kind of things right here and it is pretty cool also the cow edition right there and uh, different kind of stuff that is pretty cool at the moment if you have to go in R1 again this is updates that this is actually the section for updates so what kind of updates do we have for the game so far we have this and we have that and we have plasse plasse and we go like boomski boomski i'm just like this is the update section so yeah that's cool indeed if we press r1 once again we can go to downloads this is the section that you can actually see what kind of mods is currently downloading on my platform or on my ps4 and i currently have no downloads and that it is basically because i haven't set anything to actually download so it is pretty simple to to get i think okay so yeah i i think that we should actually get a r1 again this is downloadable content it is the mahinder retriever uh, right here the 1000 it will cost you 0 0.99 euros to actually get we also have the new holland t6 blue power right here which is free you can just go ahead and download that if you want to and that is pretty cool too uh, here we do have what can you see what can you say this is like the best mods and i think those are like the most downloaded mods maybe no that's another section. This is the best mod, and it is basically kind of given up there by, by what can you say like ratings from, uh, from you guys. You can see right here, the disable wheel camera collision has five stars, and the Fin 1000 have five stars. Then we go to four and a half. If you go even more right, I think we should actually get to four stars. Here is only four stars, so that is what it is. If you go R1 once again, right here, we are going to get to another thing, which is the most downloaded mods. And actually, the most downloaded mods is actually the Estancia La Pacho, which is actually the map as you know it. It is kind of the most downloaded mod at the moment. We do also have the Big Bird coming straight in. So that's pretty cool indeed, of course. And the less downloaded mod is actually like the front rate package. And I, I kind of get it actually. What about the fin ten, the fin thousand again? Is it to be found in here? I don't know. It's not even here, isn't it? No, it's not. I don't know why, but um, that's okay. If you go even more right, you can see here we have the latest mods. That is also the section that I use to actually kind of think about or see what is latest uh, at the game and in the game in general and this is basically how you do it so you can go out to the latest and you have all the latest mods that came out to the game if you go a little bit more like r1 again this is the mod contest and i do actually think that you can go ahead and upload your own mods on this page right here i'm not quite sure but um we're gonna get that later on i guess so uh, yeah and uh, without further ado, guys, I think this is actually going to be kind of like the end of this video. So I just want to say once again, big thanks to everybody right here for watching. If this 
help you out, you should definitely go ahead and hit the thumbs up to show your appreciation. I really would appreciate that. You should also go ahead and click the red button under this video right here. Um, and uh, that would be like really cool. So click the red button under this video to actually subscribe to the channel and join the movement and join the other people that is already in the channel. That would be really cool if you wanted to, to support Tuberous Gaming HD like all the other family members. Once again, I just want to say thanks for coming through right here on the video and thanks for being here. I really enjoy it. We're going to end it right here. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye.